morning. Um, hope you're well. Today I'm going to talk about, um, well, it's resilient stories. So, yeah, once a week I share a story about, you know, someone who's showed um, an amazing level of resilience. Today um, I'm going to talk about a lady called Taban Shoresh. Um, don't know if I've pronounced that correctly, but I hope so. Um, um, she was a Kurdistan refugee. Um, back in Kurdistan where Saddam Hussein's regime was committing genocide. Um, at four years old, she got imprisoned. She just about escaped um, being put in a live mass grave. And then um, eventually their family were able to, um, or some of her family, they were able to escape to the UK where ultimately she was able to build a life for herself. Um, get a you know, great career did well by all the trappings of modern day life, but I realized that actually um, there was a greater purpose for her. And she set up a charity um, that now supports um, women and girls who are fleeing from war-torn country, countries where there's conflict going on. And yeah, for me, um, I'm gonna share the link obviously uh, to her story and, and the work that she does. Um, when we talk about resilience, you know, to be imprisoned at four, um, to just about escape being sent to a, you know, a mass live grave. And um, when you read her story and you listen to the podcast where she's been interviewed, um, yeah, you know, she far from describes herself as having any special powers um, and certainly not any superpowers or anything like that. And reason why I share these resilient stories is because these are stories of everyday people like you and I, regular people who somehow found a way to tap into their DNA and as part of this Resilience Cube project, you know, powering our mind, body and spirit, helping us all to find ways to tap into our DNA, to our resilience that is in our DNA, not just once, not just twice, twice, but on a regular basis. How can we do that? So, yeah, I hope you find her story interesting. Let me know what you think. As usual, take care, bless up, and one love. Peace.